So here's a first look at the Eagle 2 Pro and as you can see it looks very much like many of the other Runcam FBV cameras. Let's take a look at the specs on the box. Okay, so the first noticeable thing is that it's switchable between 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 aspect ratios. And you can switch between NTSC and PAL. The Eagle 2 Pro has a 5 to 36 volt range for the input voltage. And you can see with the 16 by 9 it's 170 degrees on the field of view. But on the 4x3 the image sensor is probably cropped a little bit and you only get about 140. So that's all that's on the label. I also had uh, no specifications. I couldn't find anything on the website. And Runcam just sent this to me. I didn't get an email with any preceding specifications or things I should talk about. Uh, this is what I got. So there's the camera right there. And if we look closely at the camera, you can see it has the typical setup that many of them have with the OSD joystick plugging into this socket right here. And then you have this longer socket with your 5 volts ground and video, which you could put a three-prong cable in. Or you could use the longer cable that comes with it, or the wider connector rather. And you pick up the audio and the VBAT, the external voltage monitoring. So that's it right there on the back. Now I'll show you what some of the other hardware is. So we got a lens cap. You get you get the typical joystick cable for changing the settings. And then there's a bag of parts which is uh, similar to some other cameras I got. There's actually an extra case right here that you can put it in and it has a more typical mounting plate that some of the others use. So there's a bag of hardware for mounting and you'll see this has the little spacers in there that are needed for this bracket. As per a previous camera I reviewed, these holes actually are shallow and bottom out so you need the little spacer to mount the bracket. And that's this bracket I'm talking about that comes with it. Now if you want to use some of the other brackets that are with some of the other cameras, you can actually change the case and this will accommodate those other brackets. And then there's a little extension cable for the OSD as usual in case you want to access the OSD by plugging this in. You don't have to uh, take the camera out to get to it. It's got a little extension cable. And then you've got your silicon leads that you can use as needed. Now I actually got this outside the box. It didn't come inside the box, but Runcam sent me this. They didn't tell me what exactly to do with it, but it looks like a wider angle lens. Perhaps uh, if you need a wider angle you could switch out the lens. But there it is right there. I don't. They didn't tell me what to do with it yet. I may get another email. Of course I'll probably be doing another video to talk more about it. This is just a a first look. Okay, so now let's just hook it up to the monitor and look at some of the settings and check the latency. Just generally see how the picture looks. I don't have the specifications on the Eagle 2 Pro, but I'm assuming it's a CMOS camera. And checking the latency here in front of the monitor, I can see a little bit of sluggishness, which probably indicates it is CMOS. Okay, so the menus, going into the menus here, if I, let's see, if I push the button in one time, I get to the typical menus. I'm just going to go ahead and put the lens cap on so we can see the menus. And here's the whole trick to it. You can change the screen format right here. Just go left and right. So there, I just went into 16 by 9, and I can go back in and change it to 4 by 3 just that easily. Now I'll show you what the difference looks like looking over here at the bush mule. So coming down, 
go in the menu. It's 4 by 3 now. Kind of get a feel for how wide the angle is. I'll change it. Now you can see it's quite a bit wider. Of course, if you had 16 by 9 goggles, this would make sense. Now go back in and go to 4 by 3. So the angle on the 4 by 3, as we looked in the specs, isn't quite as wide, so it's actually cropping the sensor a little bit, I think. Now, if we go back, just a few more things in the menus here. Going in, so in day night you have color. It's just set to color right there, and there's your NTSC 60. Uh, you can change it to PAL if you want to. So that is available. Whoops. Let me return there. I'm just going to go ahead and put it back on 60 hertz. There we go. Okay. And so if we go into the image setting, this is where most of the settings are. Just enter that. And in here, there's a gain. There's WDR, which is on or off. You can have it either way. It gets a lot darker with it off, though, in the shadows. This is the image enhance, and that's where a lot of the stuff is, like sharpness. Now, on the sharpness, I actually went in here and turned the values down to 3. They were at 6, but it looked a little grainy to me, so I knocked both of these detail and edge down to 3, and I thought it looked... A a little bit better as far as graininess in the shadows. And then there's saturation, which is auto. I just left that alone. It didn't seem to help to change it. And then I played around with the brightness a little bit. I didn't find that that helped to increase it. It looked too bloomy, so I just left it on where they had it. I think it was 36. There is a zoom, but I'm not using it. But it just kind of crops the sensor and zooms in and then return so that's about it right there now I'm going to exit if you hold the joystick down for a bit and press it in see if I can do this you can move the label around and if you hold it right you can move the voltage around and then the timer can be moved actually that was left if you hold it right you can move the timer around now if you hold it up and down you can get to the OSD menu and I've put in the name Eagle 2P for Eagle 2 Pro. I've got the pilot on, the timer off, and the voltage on. So it does have voltage. You can measure an external voltage or the voltage that's supplied to the camera. Baseline is off. That's that little line in the middle. So that's about all of it right there. So that was a quick look at the Runcam Eagle 2 Pro, and I'll keep you updated with any information as it comes in from Runcam. I'll also do a little bit of flight testing in the next video. So we'll see you later.